Hey guys, what's up? It's Tarn for your PK, and today I'm going to talk about the resource desynchronization error. Uh, most of you guys might have found the fix to it, but some of you guys are still struggling to find the fix, and this is a real uh, pain in the ass for many of our gamers who wants to play online with their friends. So basically Menophore has changed a lot of things in the past months on that error. So now they have done some fixes that clearly shows what the error is why the error is getting like showed up. So the first error is the this one, uh, the basic error. Uh, like uh, you're trying to join a server that has some other mods in it and your game is, will try to load that mod if it is available on your PC so this is one error the other one is uh, the game will show you what is missing like you don't have this mod on your PC these are high codes distributions but here you like pressed it on the server and the game will show you what the missing mods and after if you click on it the game server the web page of the game will take you to that web page uh, to that mod page where you can download the mod and play that server so these are the kinds of errors that will show up when you try to play online uh, when you try to play the vanilla mod with your friends like you want to play vanilla version of the game uh, if you see the resource desynchronization error uh, do one thing uh, go to the resource folder uh, so here's the resource folder it's pretty much uh, default game files here these are all default game files Make sure that you haven't done anything like any editing with the inside files. Uh, here's the custom map folder. Uh, it's empty for now, but if you are a mapper or if you created some maps by yourself, they'll be present here. Uh, the game might have fixed that, uh, like it does not take up the map, but previously it showed the error if this map folder was full. So do one thing before going to going you before you are going to play online. Just uh, like temporarily uh, copy, cut, paste your mod files and other custom created map files into your desktop, and then play the online game. And same with the entity folder. Uh, these are the default game files changes here uh, so this is one fix this is one fix the other one is that uh, when you're playing with your friends on a mod make sure that your mod is updated to the latest version both of you have the latest version of the mod for example the great war realism 1.04.1 they have updated it to 1.04.5 so when you're trying to play with your friends make sure that both of you load the same version of the mod and if the error is still showing up then do one thing go to mod properties and check the mod size so the size of the, of the mod is 4.15 gigabytes so make sure your friend has the exact number of size on, on his mod Make sure he hasn't changed anything on that mod. Okay, so this is one another fix of it. Like most of you might have uh, changed the some files of on ROM release mod and some other mods for your like own like what do you say like you, in your own way. Like you want this mod to be that way. You want some files to be gone from the mod gives error so make sure not to touch those things when you're playing online because uh, when you're playing online using mods with your friends the 
game tries to synchronize both of your files, mod files, and try to the game tries to find that the files are exactly the same. So make sure to have that kind of files when you play mods with your friends. Rob's Realism mod rarely shows any resource desynchronization error as they like mostly updates their mod to the latest version and people all also always try to have the latest version of Rob's Realism mod. I know most of you guys play Rob's Realism mod, so I'm talking to those people who have the problem with the vanilla version and some other mods that they play. So these are the fixes guys, this is very easy to fix, this is, this is nothing to be stressed out. There is nothing to be stressed out, all you have to do is when you are playing the vanilla, uh, try to clear the game files, like go inside the resource folder, make sure your custom created files are backed at a safe place like the desktop and then you can go on and play online with your friends and other people and when you are play, playing mods make sure to have the exact file size and the exact version of the mods like you and your friend both should have the same file size and the same version of the mod or the game won't work and don't forget about these two errors there is nothing to be stretched out these are the simple basic fixes of this error. Uh, I hope you I guy I hope that I helped a lot of you guys who are facing this problem. Uh, these are the only fixes that I know of. Uh, this is the only fix that I came up with and it worked for me. And also I hope you guys are enjoying my mods as well. Call of Duty 1 mod is getting a Russian campaign. I hope you guys enjoyed my two previous videos on it. The Stalingrad docks and the Red Square Assault. The train station mission is coming soon tomorrow. So I hope you guys will enjoy. It's coming next. Uh, work is almost done. Mapping is almost done. Scripting is left. So after the train station mission is complete, I'm going to upload the, I'm going to up update the mod with a lot of fixes, lot of lots of added models like the Burnville counterattack mission contains the paratrooper, the new Falchimiger model created by my friend Ace Ranger. So he is doing a great job on making models for me. As you can see, this this Russian model this is done by him. I'm pretty much um, grateful to him. He's doing a pretty good job. He'll all he'll be also making Call of Duty 2 models, and then I'll be updating my Call of Duty 2 mod. And I'll be bringing more further mods into Metaphor. Hope you guys are excited, and hope you guys will like my content as well. Make sure to support me advices give me some ideas if you have like do this do that I'll be happy to take your advices and try to put them into my mods as always guys uh, thanks for watching all my mod videos uh, make sure to subscribe and make sure to give a like if you have any problem with it just let me know talk to me it's okay I'll try to fix it I'll try to cooperate with you and I hope you guys uh, got a lot of help from this video i'll leave some other details in the description so it will be easy for you guys to solve the problem and i'll see you guys next time with more mod videos thanks for watching